Hi everyone, Mary Nespresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me on this Tuesday, August 20th. Hope you're all doing well. We have a little taste of fall this morning. <laughs> Quite cold out there and windy. Sure not looking forward to that, but uh, first let me get my thank yous out. Marie, Madeline, Therese, and Gina. I hope my husband is quiet upstairs for a while. <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, I just heard him. I just heard his chair. So um, today we're going to do another 12 by 12. <clears throat> Technically, it's an 8.5 by 11, but we're going to use all the extra pieces so we can use the whole sheet 12 by 12. And just to show you this again with a different um, size and a different shape. And thank you again, Suzanne. I'm going to share this tip here with you. The one thing I didn't like when I turned this into a book although I kind of solved that problem if I make a pocket and just put a book inside, which I kind of like better than binding a book in here. But Suzanne gave this great tip. I could make two, glue the backs together, and then both the front and the back will be the same weight. Or I could glue the backs together to form another pocket and then I have a huge pocket in the center and the, both the back and the front will be the same weight. So that will make a cute little cover for a... That would make a nice travel journal because you can fit your photos in there easily. So that's what we're going to do today, a different size of this style. And here is one I made with a 9x9. Nine nine. It's the same thing, just a cute little a smaller square. I really like square things. I don't know about you, but I do. And then um, this one I turned into a pocket, a top pocket. So there we go for that. And then I had these little extra pieces that I just turned into little cards to put in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so there's that. And then I'll show you these in a second, the one we're going to do today with the um, 8.5 by 11. So a little show and tell. Um, and chat. My daughter is at school. We made it. Um, she didn't have a bed in her room when we got there so I said we said we're not leaving until our daughter has a bed. So finally some big strong guys brought in a bed and we could leave to go home but um, then we got caught in a hailstorm, major, major thunderstorm, thought there was going to be a tornado, sat in a field for an hour <laughs> waiting for it to stop because you literally couldn't drive, couldn't see anything. It was, uh, you know, a little nerve-wracking, but we made it home. and. I finally got some rest, except I picked up something somewhere in the hotel or something. Um, felt like I was getting the flu, but it's I feel a little better today. So anyway, I made these. Um, I made some more bat matchbooks. I got my little car in there and my little man and some tickets. 
can you believe how few videos, how few views that video got for something I've never seen before? And then I made this one with my little bird. And these have a little maps design, so I was thinking, well, my little bird will be flying south soon, so um, I'm going to use one of my little birds. These are so much fun. I love these things. And then I was thinking, you know, if you, you use really good ephemera and you really, really decorated them, you could sell those as a little art piece. Gorgeous. Okay. <clears throat> so I have been doing some more wax paper. And I tried something I wanted to, try, wanted to try, make the whole process a lot simpler. And I don't think this wax paper will be going anywhere. And then I tried a napkin. And then I put the uh, third ply of the napkin on the back. That's so pretty. And then I just did a bunch. And then I wanted to try... Um, if you have a very fragile page, how to make it much sturdier so you don't have to worry about it in your journal. This will work. So I've wanted to redo that video for a long time, and I think I will, because I haven't went back and watched it. But apparently I said something where people thought I was quite sad. And it must not have been, I don't know what it was, but I don't want to do that again. Because <laughs> I don't want people commenting like that. And I've been meaning to try this new technique and share it. So um, I might do that tomorrow. And I have other things to talk about. But, okay, new kits. This one is on Shopify, and there is one on Etsy, Grunge Lover, and I think it's either 60 or 70 pages. Love this. So you will never, ever run out of your grunge. And you can make, I'm just going to show you an example of all the styles. Can't wait to use this. And the one on Etsy, even though it's similar, they are not the same. So if you buy it on Etsy and then you decide you want the much, much bigger and better on Shopify. So you even have some journal pages. And then you have some labels. Awesome. Love this. Can't wait to do something with that when I get time. And old photos. This is on Etsy. And there's a whole range of different types of pages with old photos. And I just grabbed, printed the first one. So that's on Etsy. Okay. So I think that's about it for show and tell. What's new? Maybe I found a home for one of my brother's dogs. Going out to take a picture of him to her today. Kind of breaks my heart because, well, it breaks my heart anyway. But um, she's, uh, honestly, I don't know what happened. He got her from the Amish. His one friend said she was abused. His other friend said she was just kept in a cage, but she will not come to anyone. She would not go in the house. She's like a free-range dog. She sleeps on the sun porch. Um, and he lives out in the middle of the sticks, so it doesn't matter that she's free-range, but... Um, it kind of does matter when you want a dog that's social. So, 
it's been two months and she's finally coming to me. But how I'm going to get a leash on her, I have no idea. And she's just a beautiful, beautiful dog. Looks like a show dog. And um, when she does finally find a home, she will be the most loyal dog there ever was because she's just sweet. Um, it's, she's shows no sign of aggression or anything. Just does not trust people. <laughs> and apparently my brother never took the time to properly socialize her. And then the other dog, she's very old, diabetic. I'll probably bring her here until she meets her end. But um, the other one, I was so worried about what I'm going to do with her because I don't think my brother will be coming home um, unless he has some major improvement. He needs 24 hours skilled care and his insurance just won't pay for all of it. So I don't think he'll be coming home. And I think he'll be, they'll be taking his house. So that's what's new with that. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it. So we're going to make these today. And it would really help if um, you had, if you did too, so that you could have a coordinating paper. And then I made a little card. I made this one a side pocket. And a little card that goes in there. And as I said, it would be better if you had a made two so you could have a coordinating set. And then this one is paper from the same pack. Another little card two pockets and and the this time I did a side pocket whereas this one I did a top pocket and you can you can choose of course which one you like but that's what we're gonna do so I can show you this more of a rectangle as opposed to a square okay and then I'm going to show you, I'm using single-sided, and I'm going to show you what, what you can do to hide the white, the one little white space that you'll have. So you'll need an 8.5 by 11. I'm using single-sided, and I already cut it down, and then you'll have a piece left over that is 3.5 by 12, and one by eight and a half because I cut that off the bottom and then that came off the side like so. Okay, so you'll need a scoreboard and some glue and I'm probably going to use a trimmer and I chose a paper that doesn't matter which way I'm going. So you can put it either way. The scores will be the same. Well, no, actually you can't. I'm going to put it this way. There goes the chair. Oh, he's been up. He's been up and down now for days. I think that's how he's dealing with his nervous tension. Oh, and when we were going to pick up her ID card, he started crying. I tried to hold off because then she would say, you just, you just don't want me to be independent. So I didn't cry in front of her, but he did a little. <coughs> but he was just crying for happiness. He was so happy for her. So we're going to score this at four and a quarter. 
which is half of an eight and a half by eleven. And then we're going to flip it and we're going to score it five and a half, which is half the eleven. And that's it. These are so easy. And then we're going to go to the left side and cut into the center. Just one cut. Okay, here's our cut. Well, I probably should have scored that a little first or burnished that a little first. Okay, there we go. Here's our one cut. So we're going to bring this one up. Get your paper relaxed if you have to. Bring it almost to the score line, the bottom one. Same as the other set. And then this one, leave about an inch or so. Get everything nice and perpendicular. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this one, which is different from the other books. I should have cleaned my mat off. I didn't bother to use the magazine yesterday. So what we're going to do to this one, we're going to cut it off. And I'm going to use a trimmer because I want to make sure it's nice and straight. I'm going to cut that triangle off. There we go. And then our one white space. Okay, let me get this back the way it's supposed to be. This one gets folded in first. And our one white space. This is going to go right there. But I like to keep, why is that corner bent? I like to keep a little border so that this goes underneath this. So you can tell there's a pocket there. So that's how we can use um, single sided and not have to worry about it. And then this one folds up. And this one folds around. Okay. So let me just get this glued in place. I meant to fill up my glue. Good thing I don't need a lot. I don't know why it's warmer down here than. And it usually is, but I'll take it. Okay, so that kind of creates a little faux illusion there, faux optical illusion. And this way you can easily make these with single-sided paper. 
and as you can see the back is covered and that was your only white space. So if you have a lot of single sided You want to do that. Let me get it back together properly. <laughs> okay. And then I am going to put my notch. Where's my notch go? My notch goes in here. And then I'm going to glue those together. Glue here and here to form my pocket. And let me say something. Normally I would put run a bead of glue either down here or along here. But since I'm making a pocket, I don't have to do that for this one. So I'm going to get my notch. This time I'm going to try this out straight. Okay. I'm going to go up to the edge of this pattern paper and I'm not going to go too deep because I'm going to use my little one inch piece to make a little tab to go on the back of there. Okay, there we go. See, I have that little white space, which I don't want. So I'm going to take my little one leftover piece and I'm going to make another. Uh, you can just fill it in any way you want, but I'm going to make a little tab. So I'll probably go. Cut that off. These are cute. You can fill these with all kinds of things too. I'm quite sure in the bigger one you can fit hot chocolate. You might be able to fit hot chocolate in this one as well. Okay, so I think I will do ticket corners for these tabs. I've been choosing a different different shape for all of them. This is the only tricky part. Just making sure you stay. Making sure you cover your white space and still have a little tab. Now I could just choose a circle. What I should do maybe is put a mark with a pencil. That might make things a little easier. tricky part is covering the white and then making it stick up enough stick out enough so you still have a tab and getting it even Stay there. Oh, 
okay? Okay, you look even. Okay, glue the other side. <laughs> Just to cover a hole. Okay, there we go. Now that white space is covered. Everything's nice and even. <laughs> There we go. Isn't that cute? So just let me get the glue here <clears throat> for the pocket. And you know, you guys, um, I'm going to be reaching a decision here regarding Etsy. Pretty soon. I don't think, I personally think Etsy has jumped the shark. I think they're flailing as a company. I think they've tanked their core brand. I don't think they care about the sellers. If they, if indeed they ever did, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's nobody's fault. It's not lack of customers. I mean, it is, but that's not anybody's fault. It's Etsy oversaturated the market and. Um, Views have been decreasing by 50%. They're still decreasing. They haven't bottomed out yet. And there's just too many shops for... There's just too many shops. And you just simply can't get your products before the customers. And, you know, there's only so many seconds in a day, therefore there's only so many views to be had. So, um, you know, I, I don't know who figured out that ratio, but they should be fired. <laughs> so, I just don't think there's any, um, there's anything that can really be done about it and um, due to that fact you know I at first I thought well I'll just keep increasing my inventory and maybe that will help and it is to the point now where I almost can't afford my inventory so um, I don't know yet. I haven't decided, but um, I'll be deciding soon. So, okay, I'm just going to take my other cards as a measurement for this card. So I'm now working on my three and a half piece, three and a half inch piece, three and a half by 12 inch piece. And I'm just going to get pretty much the same size to fit in my little um, side pocket. Make another little card with another little tab. And then I decide what to do with the other ones. And again, this is where I said um, It's going to really help if you um, use 
make two and do a coordinating paper. I do have some other pieces here from the same book, which actually I might, I'm just going to forego this piece so that I can have something a little different to put on that tab. So you'll be using this piece, <laughs> but I think I would really like something a little different. So I'm just going to cut an inch off here. Yep, perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do just so I can, just so you'll actually be able to see it when it's done. Because everything is just going to blend in there if I don't. So make two, <laughs> make two, and then I don't think I have another tab. I'm going to cut that B off. Why did I put that away? going to make two. Or I should say you make two. I'm not making another one because I already have so many of them now. <clears throat> and then this little tab I put more towards the bottom. Let me get my mat back. So it helps me. And that's my little card that goes in my little pocket. And these are cute. I would I would just include these with a journal. I would do. do that. Oops. You have to actually go under there. Down a little. Okay. It just looked perfectly straight a minute ago. Hopefully you're still straight. Nothing worse than a crooked tab. Drives me nuts. One time I actually had to put it in the trimmer. Okay, because it wasn't straight. And then you hold it up and it looks, sticks out like a sore thumb. Come on. Glue. There's our little, now please fit because I could tell you were a little, please go in there.
Okay, you know what? I'm just trimming. Where are we? 36. I'm just trimming because I don't feel like messing with it. Maybe my glue spread a little further or something. Pockets are always tight. Why do I always have so much trouble with this the first time? Is it because of that thickness? I don't know. But with every single one, the first couple times I couldn't get it in the pocket. Okay, there we go. I want you to stand out a little bit. Okay, there's our two tabs. Yeah, what's wrong? Oh, that's my, that's my paper. <laughs> okay. Okay, then I'm just going to do the same thing. Measure out these pieces for our remaining card. And then we have a card and a little piece. And you can see one, there's my card, and then I just made a little tag, and then took another little piece, the little piece that was left after I made my second tab from this, and made another little tag. So that was how I did that one, and then... This one, I just had that little extra piece. And my tab index, I'm going to call it an index card. Oh, and this one, I still had one little piece left. And I just made another tab on the other side. I made each of them a little different. Oh, geez, I needed that. So I'm just going to keep these simple. Oh, I didn't mark that. Jeez, I'm losing my mind. Not as bad as last week, though. Oh, that reminds me. You know how much of my mind I lost? So nervous apparently. I really do feel like there's a hole in my heart. My heart is gone. <laughs> I've been sometimes I still expect her to be here. Like I'll walk past her room and I'll think you know I'll think she's there but she's really not there. So anyway, I lost my mind so much I forgot my toothbrush, my shampoo, my conditioner, my eye makeup remover, my blush, and I'm quite sure there's probably something else, and I had to buy all of that stuff. So I had to go shopping. And then I only took one pair of shoes. There's the card for in there. And there's the little piece for in there. And you can do whatever you want. And then I only took one pair of shoes after telling her that she wasn't allowed to just take one pair of shoes. And they broke. Yes, they broke. My favorite, Mary Jane's. So in addition to having to go shopping for essentials, <laughs> then I had to go buy a new pair of shoes. So, okay, hopefully my mind will come back this week and I'll get some rest. 
and there is our new 12 by 12 I think that's number 15 and I did not use that little piece but I'm just going to tuck it in there and I'll make something with it remember make two sets so you have coordinating and everything's not blending in so much as this one but that's how another another size to make the exact same thing how to cover the white space and um, how to cover the white space and how to turn it into a little pocket which this one I didn't do yet and then this was a nine by nine so you end up with a four four and a half yeah four and a half by four and a half and it's a smaller version of this okay everyone thank you so much for joining me today miss you all i'll see you next time bye